Hi everyone, welcome back. So, for this video, we'll be doing a hypothesis test with one sample using the t test. Okay, so the uh, previously we did z test, and the way we figured that out was they either gave us little sigma or they said population standard deviation. <coughs> now, if we look at this problem here, it doesn't give us either of those things. Okay. Another way you can sometimes tell, it's not a surefire way, but um, one other way you can tell is if they give you a small sample size. Okay, but definitely look for a little sigma or um, population standard deviation. So since those, those things do not appear in this problem, we're actually going to be doing a t-test. Okay, so I got data here, so I'm going to copy that over since I have StatCrunch open already. Okay, so I have no title. I can click in the first cell and paste in. Um, this has a quick reminder, these have commas in them, so we don't want to separate our data. We want to make sure that this is a whole number, so we'll click on none. Okay. <coughs> okay, so I'll go into stat, t stats, one sample with data since I got my column filled here with data. Okay, so go ahead and select the column. There's no place for standard deviation, which there shouldn't be anyway. Um, we want to go ahead and match the um, test here. So I'll put the test number here. And I'll make sure the alternative hypothesis matches. Not equal to, okay. And then go ahead and click on compute. There is the standardized test statistic and the p-value. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Um, I don't have any problems that have a summary, but if you did have one, you would go almost the same way, stat, t-stats, one sample, and instead of with data, you would pick with summary. And really, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you again. Next video that's coming up will be using uh, proportion stats. Thanks for watching again.